Hey there, book lovers. My name is Emma, and I just finished reading Detransition, Baby by Tori Peters. This novel explores some important themes, and I want to share a summary of the story with you today. Reese is a 34-year-old trans woman living in Brooklyn, struggling to come to terms with her desire to have a child. Despite the fact that her girlfriend Amy initially agreed to Reese's plan to carry a child and raise it together, she ultimately decides that she is not ready to become a parent. Reese is heartbroken but determined to become a mother, and she turns to Ames, her ex-boyfriend and former drug dealer, for help. Ames is a detransitioner, having transitioned from male to female and back again. He is struggling with his own identity and is unsure if he is ready to take on the role of a father. Despite this, he agrees to help Reese, and they embark on a journey of fertility treatments and hormone therapy. As they prepare for parenthood, Reese and Ames must navigate the complexities of their relationship, which is fraught with the emotional baggage of their past together. Reese is a complex character, grappling with her own identity as a trans woman and her desire to become a mother. She is determined to pursue her dream, despite the challenges she faces. Reese is also fiercely independent, but she is forced to rely on Ames in order to have a child. The two have a complicated relationship, having been involved in a drug ring together in the past, and their reunion is fraught with tension and mistrust. Ames, meanwhile, is haunted by the traumas of his past. He is struggling with his own identity as a detransitioner and is unsure if he is ready to take on the role of a father. Despite this, he is determined to support Reese in her quest to become a mother, and the two embark on a complex journey together. As Reese and Ames prepare for parenthood, they are confronted with unexpected challenges. Katrina, Ames' boss, discovers she is pregnant, and Ames is forced to grapple with his feelings for her as they begin an unconventional family arrangement. The three characters begin a complex dance of relationships, with Reese and Ames as co-parents to their child and Katrina as their supportive partner. The tension between the characters comes to a head when Katrina gives birth prematurely. Reese, who has been excluded from the process, insists on being involved in the child's life, but Ames and Katrina are hesitant to allow her in. Reese struggles with feelings of jealousy and inadequacy as she watches Katrina and Ames bond with the baby, and she begins to question whether she is truly ready to be a mother. As the three characters struggle to navigate the complexities of their relationship, they are forced to confront their own prejudices and preconceptions about gender and identity, and to question the nature of family and parenthood itself. Reese, Ames, and Katrina must learn to communicate and compromise in order to build a life together that works for all of them, despite the challenges they face. Throughout the novel, Peters explores themes of identity, family, parenthood, and relationships in a raw and emotional way. She challenges readers to confront their own biases and preconceived notions about gender and identity, and to think critically about the impact of societal stigma and prejudice on our relationships and our sense of self. Ultimately, the novel is a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity and a moving portrait of the human experience. The novel begins with Reese living in Brooklyn, working as a paralegal and dating Amy, a cisgender woman. Reese is struggling with her desire to have a child, but Amy is not interested in becoming a parent. 
Reese is heartbroken and begins to explore alternative options for becoming a mother. Meanwhile, Ames is living in upstate New York, working at a grocery store and struggling with his own identity as a detransitioner. He receives a call from Reese, asking him for help in becoming a father. Despite their complicated past together, Ames agrees to help Reese and they begin to explore the possibilities of fertility treatments and hormone therapy. As they embark on this journey together, Reese and Ames are forced to confront the complexities of their relationship. They had been involved in a drug ring together in the past, and the wounds from that experience still run deep. Ames is struggling with his own identity as a detransitioner and is unsure if he is ready to take on the role of a father. Reese, on the other hand, is determined to pursue her dream of becoming a mother and is willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen. As Reese and Ames prepare for parenthood, they are confronted with unexpected challenges. Katrina, Ames' boss, discovers she is pregnant, and Ames is forced to grapple with his feelings for her as they begin an unconventional family arrangement. The three characters begin a complex dance of relationships, with Reese and Ames as co-parents to their child, and Katrina as their supportive partner. The tension between the characters comes to a head when Katrina gives birth prematurely. Reese, who has been excluded from the process, insists on being involved in the child's life, but Ames and Katrina are hesitant to allow her in. Reese struggles with feelings of jealousy and inadequacy as she watches Katrina and Ames bond with the baby, and she begins to question whether she is truly ready to be a mother. Throughout the novel, Peters explores themes of identity, family, parenthood, and relationships in a raw and emotional way. She challenges readers to confront their own biases and preconceived notions about gender and identity, and to think critically about the impact of societal stigma and prejudice on our relationships and our sense of self. Ultimately, the novel is a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity and a moving portrait of the human experience. As the story concludes, the three characters are in a fragile but functional arrangement. Reese and Ames have come to an understanding and have begun to work together as co-parents to their child, while Katrina provides emotional and practical support. Reese, despite her initial doubts, has embraced motherhood and is taking steps to build a life for herself and her child. Detransition, Baby is a complex and emotional novel that tackles difficult and often taboo subjects with grace and sensitivity. Peters writes with honesty and authenticity, creating characters that are flawed, human, and deeply relatable. The novel is a must-read for anyone interested in exploring themes of gender, identity, and family in a contemporary context, and it is a testament to the power of literature to challenge and transform our understanding of the world around us.